you guys want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Naman Khan. I'm from the Valley. This is Brother Aftab Diwan. Uh, we were one of the first volunteers with Islamic Relief back in the days. Actually, I was an employee. He was an employee, yeah. I was, I was, I was working there. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. We are at the <laughs> humble beginnings of Islamic Relief. Really? Back in 1993. Mm -hmm. Those were the beginnings. It started out in a department and ended up here for about 10 years. Islam Khalif was operating out of here. As we were doing this work, we were learning. One of the, my first lessons about relief work was we were going to go downtown and, and serve food to the homeless. So we packed up and I wanted brochures about Islam in the bags. And Dr. Ahmed comes to me and goes, when you're serving people who are needy, you don't preach Islam. You don't do that. They're in need, you go serve them, and that's our job. Our job is not, it's an indirect preaching through representation of Islam, and it's not putting pamphlets of Islam, and you know, while you're giving food, who, what, and they're homeless and they're, they're hungry, that you know, you don't shove Islam down their throat, that's not our purpose. SubhanAllah, that stuck to me for the rest of my life. To be a faithful person in 2019 with all of the things around us, the way that the dunya is curated, it's, it's deep. The dunya is deep, man. It's deep. In the dunya khidra halwa. The Prophet said, the dunya is green and sweet, meaning that it's ripe, man. Like the ripe fruit you see when you're like at Aldi's instead of Whole Foods, you find that ripe fruit that's cheap still. Man, you feel like that's the dunya. So the Prophet said, فَاتَّقُوا الدُّنْيَا So fear it. And we know that Sayyidina Muhammad said, إِنَّمَا What I worry about the most for you is not shirk. This Ummah will never commit shirk, alhamdulillah. The Ummah is mahfuza in hadith. But what I fear for you the most is dunya. When Sayyidina Umar, he saw the goods coming into Medina, Imam al-Tabarani mentions, when he saw all of the wealth coming into Medina, he started to cry. People were happy. Man, look at this gold and silks. And, you know, people were yafrahun. Say, no, he began to cry. He said, this, this is going to destroy us. So to be a faithful devotee of God, like many of you wonderful young people did tonight, there's a lot of things you could be doing right now. But you gave of yourself. You sacrificed. I'm willing to sacrifice my own agency in the here in the dunya if i fail to achieve success in the hereafter what taqa means that that person is obedient to allah and following the sunnah of sayyidina rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam fasanu yasiruhu lil yusra whoever does that allah says we will give them agency we will make things easy for them we will facilitate things for that person most ulama, they say something amazing here, man. This is so incredible. Al-Yusra means Jannah. And Al-Yusra translated means ease. Al-Razi, the great Mufassir and even Kathir, they said, why would Allah cause, call Jannah ease? Because we know to get to Jannah is what? It's hardship. It's tough. Say to Jibreel, when Allah created Jannah, he said, Jibreel, go look at Jannah. What do you think? Nobody gonna make it, man. It's too hard. <laughs> he said, nobody can make it. So why would Allah call it ease? Because sometimes when you're in the struggle, you need it. You need to be reminded that what's in front of you is worth it. So I'm struggling to like stay away from haram in high school. I'm struggling to like maintain my dean in college. I'm struggling to be a good parent, not go crazy with these kids. I'm struggling not to lose my mind with my parents who are like uber control oriented. I'm struggling in this marriage. I'm, str I'm struggling to be right. It's hard. Some people will email me, man, this year Ramadan is hard. It's long. It's tough. But Jannah is ease. So the struggle is for ease. So Allah loves us so much. He didn't say, Fasuna yasiru hu dukhul al Jannah. You know, we're going to make it easy if you turn to Jannah. No, he said, we are going to make ease for you easy. <laughs>